Hey everyone, welcome to another ScreenFlow video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to add some transitions to your ScreenFlow project. Stay tuned. As you can see for this example, I'm using a screen recording of an earlier video tutorial that I did, plus my intro logo. Now the principle is the same if you're using live footage. So what we need to do is add a transition between the logo sequence and the tutorial which is on the right hand side. I'll show you what we have. As you can see it's not very professional, it doesn't flow either, but we're going to change that now. The first thing, the first thing that we need to do is highlight the footage to the right of the logo which is the screen recording and move it up against the logo. All we need to do then is go a little further uh, until the two start merging together. You know they have merged together when you see the letter A appear. Once you've seen that, hover over the letter A and a little white gear icon will appear. Click on that and drop down, and a drop down box will appear with all of the transitions you can use. Now, a word of caution about using transitions there is a lot of there is a lot within ScreenFlow, and to be honest, most uh, are not very good. And you should stay, you should stay clear, uh, especially if you want your videos to look professional. So, my recommendations are either the dip to white, the cross to shelf, and I'm also experimenting with the push the push transition too. Now, if you click on the gear icon again, and then click on the transition inspector, the box will pop up. From here, you can audition, so to speak, your transition to see what it looks like before you add it to your project. So if I go ahead and have a look at the flash transition, I can see what it looked like. Now you can also change the duration between the transition. I would recommend no more than one second, and I use 0 0.5 seconds between my transitions. Then It's not too fast and it's not too slow. Once you've chosen the transition you want, it will be highlighted. All you have to do then is click away from the transition inspector by clicking the X at the top left hand corner of the box and it will bring your and it will bring you back onto the timeline. You can also alter the speed of the transition by clicking and dragging to the left to make it slower or to the right to make it faster. And like I said earlier, you can use the transition inspector to make the speed adjustments too. So I've picked 0 0.5 seconds, and let's see how well that looks. As you can see, it's a pretty smooth transition between these two types of footage. So we've gone over how to add a transition, and how to adjust the speed of it too. And that's how you add transition to your ScreenFlow project, so go and practice. It would be really cool to get your comment on this video, or ask any questions you have below this video in the comments section. And as always, you can submit a tutorial request underneath this video by, by starting your tutorial request on the video you want and we'll get on and make it. If you're after some royalty free music, don't forget you can sign up for my top 5 royalty free music I'm giving away. You can find that on the right hand side in the sidebar of this blog. I'm DNA Cox and this has been another ScreenFlow tutorial from ScreenCastMagazine.com. Mm -hmm.